Hi, this is Ed Bag with USA Today. So, wearables is apparently where it's at, at least judging by the fact that every tech company under the sun is getting into the business. We, of course, have Apple coming. We already have Samsung. We have Google. We have lots of other companies. And now we're about to have Microsoft making a reappearance into the wearable space because this is a space they've dabbled into long ago. Well, they're back with something they call the Microsoft Band. It's about a $200 device. Call it a fitness band, call it a smart band. It's really aimed at people who like to run, who like to work out. In fact, it has guided workouts in there. If you do run, there's GPS in here. It'll trace the uh, location of your route without you having to bring a phone along. It has 24-hour heart rate monitoring. It'll uh, even detect how well you're sleeping, how quickly you fell asleep, how many times you woke up during the night, whether you're getting light sleep, heavy sleep, so uh, and so on. That's all great. Versatility is also built in through notifications. Twitter, Facebook, if you're getting an incoming phone call. You can even buy coffee through this thing uh, at Starbucks. They have partnership with Starbucks. And speaking of partnerships, one of the benefits here is that this works with apps that run cross-platform. That is, it works on the iPhone, which is how I did most of my testing. It works with Android, and of course it works with Microsoft's own Windows phone devices. If you do have a Windows phone, you can take advantage of the Cortana voice assistant. You could uh, take notes, for example, by uh, barking out a command out loud. That's all great. Also, it's pretty decent battery life. Uh, Microsoft claims up to two days. I didn't quite get two full days, but I certainly got into the second day. So at least for me, battery life was not a big issue. You do have to have the proprietary USB cable with you to charge the device. Unfortunately, I ran into some issues. For starters, Bluetooth. I ran into some syncing issues, some pairing issues with Bluetooth on this device, on and off issues. It was a bit of a pain. The wearable is not the most attractive I've seen. Ergonomically, it just doesn't work for me. I would love the design to have been not rigid as it is, but more of a curvy design, like Samsung did, for example, with its Gear Fit watch. And it's also not the most comfortable thing to wear either. And of course, that's a big deal when you're talking about a wearable. 200 bucks, it isn't cheap. It's a decent first effort for Microsoft, but I think they have to go back on the treadmill and make this thing just a little bit better. For USA Today, I'm Ed Baig, and I'll catch you next time.